it's gonna be nerve wracking, but do you got it? Yes, and that's why I'm not nervous because I'm more excited, you know. What's up, y'all? It is her, what is the word? And today I need y'all to bear with me because I'm coming off a night shift and I'm super tired. You know, super tired, so I might have to think, I might just have to, you know, think about my topics um, that I would be talking about. So just bear with me. Silver Engineering, I do attend Liberty University. Not right now, currently, not right now, but I will be starting class at August 19th. Y'all see how it took me that long just to say the 19th. Just bear with me for a second. So, as civil engineering students, I will not understand what kind of, what type of challenges they are facing right now. But I'm here to talk about, am I nervous? Just hearing all the negative things about civil engineering or for the past year, I ain't gonna even say the past year, but just the past few months. What I've had, what I have been hearing about civil engineering, I've been telling people my goals about civil engineering, what I be doing, what I want to do, and they always have something negative to say. Uh, what about the math? What about time management? Have you seen the statistics? Um, only this percent of people graduate from engineering. Engineering hard. Only this many people, uh, only this many black students graduate from engineering. Put all that to the side. Am I nervous? Just hearing all that, am I nervous as a civil engineering student? No. Y'all know what I said, heck you know, you know. Heck you know, if anything, I'm excited. And this just don't have, this can be motivation. This don't have to be just about, strictly just about civil engineering. This could be any course low any coursework that you are you know any major that you are a majoring in you know so this can apply to anything if you doing communication um it has been said that communication is easy and now they trying to make you feel like it's not worth it if you get a communication degree then it don't count. Everything count. You know, you see how they try to make you feel and this is why they say don't tell your goals. So with civil engineering, they talk about math a lot. Math, 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 math. Math this, math that. They talk about trigonometry. Look, I can't even say it right now. They talk about trigonometry. They talk about calculus one, calculus two. And the hardest of all, they talk about calculus three pre-calculus they talk about all that and i believe it goes to calculus three i don't know anything higher than calculus three i might be wrong if i am wrong for all the civil engineering students that's you know of course y'all can come at me if i'm saying anything wrong so if i'm wrong about that just let me know but calculus three they say it's the hardest one so uh, even if you bad at math you, you are going to school. And if you are going to school for something, this is not graduate school. You is not skipping undergraduate to go to graduate school. You is not going from the first grade to the 12th grade. If you're going straight from the first to the 12th, then you missed the whole lot. But with civil engineering, you ain't meet, you ain't miss nothing because you just started. You know, if you meet the requirements of majoring in civil engineering, then it's time to take the next step. You know, you ain't miss nothing. This is a learning experience. So for people to say you gotta do civil engineering uh, only if you're good at math is totally false. That is false. That is one of the falsest statements you can ever make because civil engineering is the time to learn how to do math. If you work hard and pay attention, Voila, you got it. Another one is that civil engineering students face, you know, the challenges they face is time management. When you're doing civil engineering, a civil engineering major, you do not have time for a lot of things. And I just know this just from hearing from a lot of people doing a lot of research 
you did not have a lot of time. So you had to deal with, you know, sacrifices. You have to take sacrifices. You got this huge workload. You already got to study math a lot. And then you got to deal with different programs, such as um, programs that I can't name. But you just got to go on these apps and stuff and um, do designs and things like that. So you got to spend a whole bunch of time. And, you know, in real life, after you graduate in real life and also just learning how to design things and working with others you know because a lot of times you're going to be working with others when you get in that field so another thing you got to deal with is time management am i worried about that no because i believe you're going to learn all these things that i'm talking about you know you're going to learn all these things in school and you're going to learn it even more in the real world so when you graduate and you feel like you don't really know nothing, if you've been paying attention, you're going to learn a lot. They're going to want to work with you. They're going to see the potential in you that you learn something and be like, okay, we can we can work with this, you know. And that's how I work in the real world. And these apps that I am talking about is apps like AutoCAD. You're going to deal with MATLAB and you're going to deal with apps like Silver 3D. So them, the apps that you will be doing the designs on from what, what I have heard. Am I worried about it? No, because like I said, it's a learning experience. Another challenge is hands-on projects. This don't have nothing to do with the apps. It got a lot to do with the apps, but this if it's hands-on projects, then you're gonna have to step, step away from the apps. You're gonna have to step away from um you just gonna apply everything you have learned and use your hands so this is where a lot of people get nervous at you know with anything you know when you train and you like okay i got this i got this then they throw you in the fire like okay now you gotta work with your hands now you're like oh, oh what do i do now you know of course that's another challenge for a lot of civil engineers another challenge for a lot of people no different you know you're gonna get nervous like i said as long as you apply a lot of information like i graduated um from industrial technology and what that is is mechanical electrical pneumatics hydraulics welding carpentry all that combined to one was i nervous when i was in the field heck yeah or yeah was I nervous in class? Heck yeah, but at the same time, I was motivated, I was happy, and I was looking at the statistics and they was like 50% of students graduate from ranking and knowing me, knowing my background, I'm like, not too many people come from my family that can graduate, you know, college. Can they do it? Yes, they can, but do they really want want to do it? No, like, cause we've been taught to just go go from straight out of high school and just start working. So, can they do it? Yes, but you know, in our society, we really don't want to. So yeah, hands on projects, man. It's gonna be nerve wracking, but do you got it? Yes, and that's why I'm not nervous, cause I'm more excited. You know. I can make a big impact. I can help you get rid of those nerves just a little bit. You know, I hope this video been good so far that it's getting rid of the nerves already, but I can get rid of the nerves even more. Imagine all the skills you can gain from this. Based on statistics, I'm pretty sure engineers have one of the highest, you know, as far as starting businesses. Because it seems like every time an engineer graduates, they start a build business. You got Jeff Bezos, Bezos. You have um, Robert Smith, a lot of famous people, a lot of people with money. Have graduated engineering, you know. Um, the guy from Microsoft. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't think of his name right now. But he might have took in engineer some type of engineer i'm really not sure because i haven't took time to look at that but just based on the statistics man that's something to get happy about you know that's something to motivate you you know just think about all the people that grow their business and made so much money but don't think about the money 
just think about all the problem solving skills that you will gain from this and you can apply it to your relationship you can apply it to you know it can save you a whole bunch of money if things are broken around the houses you know, if this or that you know you don't gotta work a nine to five no more because you can start your own business because um hey a lot of engineers make money you know and it's a business so that's something to get happy about man it's something to get happy about uh when you a junior in college and you can do internships you know internships think about that man you can start making money two years later like think about today two years you'll probably be making about 40 50 thousand keep on going up 60 70 you real good man you finna see that 100k in about four years three years three four years you know just think about that man Think about all the people you can meet as far as networking. Think about, you probably can meet Jeff Bezos because he like, man, I like this engineer and I took the engineer. Let me hire him. Think about all the celebrity houses you can be working on if you're a type of person like that. You can, you can work on celebrity houses. You can work with celebrities to accomplish that goal and think about a bigger impact. Think about a big impact you can make on society, you know? A lot of us, we want to go to attractions. You know, we want to see a lot of good things. And a lot of those things come from engineers. You know, when you want to see a skyscraper, when you look at a beautiful city, you know, you see skyscrapers, hey, they got a, they got something to do with structure engineering. You know, that's what I'm trying to be, structure engineering, because I do not want to be building bridges and stuff. I don't really see no impact in that. You know, we need bridges and stuff, but what... I am most excited about is building buildings. I love working with my hands. You know, I love thinking about, I love watching construction videos. So I know I want to do structural engineering, you know, silver, you know, with a silver engineering degree, you can do structural engineering. You can do transportation, you can do um, environmental, but um, you can do uh, traffic engineering. You can do so many things with silver engineering. It don't make no sense. So that is something to get happy about. So am I nervous? No, I'm not nervous. If anything, I am excited. I am excited about all the critical thinking I can gain just from this, man, because you need a lot of critical thinking, but that, don't let that throw you off, man. Just be happy, just be blessed that you get this opportunity to go to school and learn because it is hard to get accepted into a school and they, you know, if you did bad in high school, it's kind of hard to get into a school already with civil engineering. They tell you you gotta have a 3.2, 3.3, and you like, man, I just wanna major. If I can't major in this, then I don't wanna go to college at all. So if you are doing that, even if you, you know, even if it's hard for you to get into, you know, get to that point, uh, you still can take community college. You still can um, meet the requirements. Um, it's a word I'm trying to, um, people with consent, whatever, whatever, I can't say the word, but yeah, it's still ways you can meet that requirement, you know, after you done with high school. Um, if you in high school, make sure that you meet the requirements right now. So it'll be an easy uh, transition for you, you know. And with that being said, man, just take away all them nerves, man. You got this. I'm out of here.